I wrote my book, Saved by the Sea, A Love Story with Fish, to tell a personal story that I think is also universal about how, how we all suffer joy and losses. And I, I write about some of my, my friends I lost at war, John Hoagland, who body surfed the war zone in El Salvador, and my life's love, Nancy Ladansky, who I shared a lot of diving and ocean adventures with, who, who died of breast cancer at the age of 43. And, and we, we remember our friends and the things that they loved, and you try and protect the things that, that we all love, and, and one of them is, is the ocean around us. You know, we've all suffered losses, and I've dedicated the rest of my life to protecting my, my last great love, which is the sea. And I believe that all we can do is try. We get so much from uh, the ocean. I, I know that I can always return to the ocean for adventure, for adrenaline rushes, or as light gray ash. I'll always go back to our, our mother, the sea. Um, and when I hear the waves, it's like your mother's heartbeat. But we're abusing mom, and we've got to cut it out. And my book's about how we get so much from the ocean, we really have to start giving something back. It, it's just common sense. And we all have that, that connection in our lives, through our loves, through the people we care about. Um, we experience things, and the things I've, I've sort of had as a common theme throughout my life is uh, that saltwater wonderland that is most of our, our blue marble planet. So at the end, as I say, it's, it's, uh, it's not God's green earth, it's God's blue marble, and we need to protect it. Yeah.